because two years ago I was feeling not too well and I returned back to Montreal to find out that I had a problem with my intestines and it had to be operated on within the next month or two. But prior to leaving here two years ago, I was going through a crisis because I really didn't know where I was going to worship the Lord. Because it was giving us an hour and a half drive to go to the Army Corps and an hour and a half drive in the bus to return. And that was three hours and we had to give up our visitation to the nursing home, which was very dear to us. And so prior to leaving here, I knelt at that mercy seat and I said, Lord, open a way for me that you can still be the center, center of my life. And when I returned home, my brother said, well, the last few weeks I was, I attended the United Church, but some people there was telling, telling me that we ain't the first person that's come that way. In the service that Sunday, I counted 10 <coughs> salvationists that wasn't going to a salvationist core, but was attending the United Church, which is seven minutes from our house. And so I started attending a men's group, working on repairs in the church. And as I entered the building, I said to the minister, I said, before I make a, mis a decision on where I'm going to worship the Lord, I want to ask for something, to do something for this building that is very dear to me. As a lot of you know, caretaking in the schools was a big part of my life and a big part of Dad's life. And so as I entered the building, I said, I would like to rejuvenate these floors to make them a glory to God. And that's what did happen. Then when I was talking to the minister, he said, but hold a second, your last name is Garland, he said? Yeah. Well, one of the people from our church here is in a nursing home now, and she says she's from Newfoundland. Her name was Alma Garland. And when I went up to visit her, I stepped into the door, and her son met me, and he said, you don't have to tell me who you are. You're Bill Garland's son, aren't you? With the horse, and, and I said, yes. And so the Lord allowed me to worship and pray with Alma, and the minister walked in the door just as I was entering my prayer, and he said, Gary, I'm having a problem. I'm, going to, I'm counseling my prayer meetings every once in a while because nobody seems to be coming. I said, okay. Reverend Reed, will you give me the permission to take over the prayer meeting? And sure enough, that coming week, there was 10 people there. And I said, Lord, you are opening the door for me. You are showing me in such a way. And then an older person from that church came to me and said, I know you were going to come here. And I said, why? He said, this is where your father worshipped when he came to Montreal. And in a lot of ways, the Lord was really speaking to me in that way and saying, come on to me. And I thank the Lord that we are worshipping in the United Church that's seven minutes from my house because the Lord is really using us there. Many of things that took place here in Lauranico were using as things in that church. And I'm thinking of the Christmas ball campaign. For these last two years, we've been running a Christmas ball campaign in that church and many of thousands of dollars have been raised. And the Lord is really speaking to us. Yes, I do miss every once in a while going to an army corps, and every once in a while we do venture out. But 
we believe the Lord is really using us, and that's all is necessary. If the Lord is using us, then there's nothing going to happen to us.